Chris Frostad, uh, President and CEO of Purepoint Uranium Group. Okay. We are a, uh, an exploration company. Uh, we've been operating in northern Saskatchewan in the Athabasca Basin for about 15 years now. Right, so that leads into my first question. So there are several explorers in the Ath Athabasca Basin. What makes Pure Point different? Um, well, a lot of the difference is the amount of time. There's a couple of things. First is the amount of time we've been working there. Um, over, over the years, we've seen a number of ebbs and flows in the uranium market, uh, ebbs and flows in our, the availability of capital. And uh, we have projects that we've, uh, we've, been, we've had and maintained for, for years in some cases, we've had uh, on hiatus while things were low, and uh, and we've been able to acquire uh, valuable projects uh, through the downtime. So I think you know, first and foremost, we have a portfolio that is uh, of, of exploration projects that is quite advanced and and uh, quite well understood. The other aspect that differentiates us is is our partnerships. Uh, we have uh, two projects, two joint ventures that uh, with Cameco and Arano, two of the world's largest uh, uranium suppliers. Um, as I've mentioned before, uh, they really have trouble freeing up budget for anything that doesn't look like it might uh, have the potential to come up with 100 to 150 million pounds of uranium. So uh, they continue to fund those projects and to uh, work with us on that, those projects and, uh, and sort of validate the, the work that we're doing out there. So they're, uh, they've been uh, very, very supportive and uh, uh, fabulous partners uh, in that regard. And, and, you know, a lot of the technology has changed over the last 10 years or so. Uh, not just technology, but our understanding of, uh, of that area and that region and uh, where uranium lives and where it doesn't live. And, and a lot of that's changed. Uh, and uh, we've, been, uh, we've been fortunate to be involved in, in a lot of those learnings along the way as well. So um, I think between those three things, we've, uh, uh, we've pretty much got a, a foot up on, on a, lot of, uh, mm -hmm. a, a lot of other folks. Right. So why should investors and analysts be excited about PurePoint? Well, a few things. I think, you know, the, the, the underlying fundamentals of the market continue to, uh, continue to hold. Um, you know, the visibility into the market is, 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 is hard to get in terms of the price of uranium because of the way it's, it's determined. Um, because it's a small market, it, it does get, uh, it can get bullied around a lot with, with not a large amount of money. Um, so we're, we're in a sector that I think has got a lot of ongoing support right now as people wait for uh, the price of uranium to come back up to incentive levels so we can start turning uh, mines back on. Um, in our case, um, I think we have, uh, uh, we've demonstrated uh, an ability to, to do a lot of work and have a lot of prospective areas to, to look and work. We've, got, you know, we've had multiple drill programs going on at the same time across a number of projects that uh, have proven to be um, uh, very prospective and have given us very good results to date. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of work, we've got a lot of 100% owned projects, and, uh, and I think uh, in our game, it's, uh, it's the next big discovery, and, and how do we maximize the odds of, of that being us, and I think, I think that's what we've done. Mm -hmm. So what kind of milestones um, are you looking forward to for the rest of 2023? Ah, uh, well, this coming year, we've, uh, we, as I mentioned, uh, on, we were just talking inside, uh, we've, uh, we were drilling at our Hook Lake project uh, this winter, which is with Cameco and Arano. Uh, near the end of that program, we did start coming into uh, something that looks like uh, it could be significant, uh, and uh, we're working with them now on our plans for the coming year. Um, so we'll, we'll be coming up with those plans shortly. Uh, we've got uh, plans for the summer um, to prepare two other projects for drilling which we uh, expect to get to in the fall. Uh, we've got uh, a large area of, of uh, earlier stage projects that we will be doing uh, more detailed geophysics on later in the year uh, to, to define uh, the drill targets we want to get to out there. And, uh, and we're, we're getting back to a project that we joint venture with Cameco and Arano that uh, um, we, we haven't been back to in a while, mainly because the, there was a lot of emphasis on the, the neighboring project that we work on with them. So, uh, we're happy to see them uh, going back, uh, wanting to go back and, uh, and get some geophysics done there and some more drilling on that project. So we have a lot of, a lot of projects uh, that are being advanced simultaneously as we move along and, uh, and, and I think we're, you're going to see a lot of that happening before the year's out. Great. Thank you. Okay, thank you.